Happy Sunday, my friends. Sunday stroll. Mary T. I'm in a new trail for both of us. It's Grassy Waters Preserve in North Palm Beach. I'm on the Hog Trail. It's about 2.5. Um, already heard a blue gray gnat catcher. Gorgeous song. Gorgeous body. And a cardinal and a blue jay. So this has already turned out to be a great day. So let me tell you a little bit about, this is the very beginning of the trail. I got some water. I don't see birds here, but there are fish in this water. So that'll definitely be a, a draw for birds as well as other creatures. And the water is very close to the trail. And that's, that's good. We've got cypress, we've got palm trees, and of course blue sky. We have, of course, Coco Plum. And I've been on the south side of this particular grassy preserve. But it's been years. We have a hawk. Not too shy. But he's going to make me very dizzy. Oh my goodness, I'm going to fall over. Gorgeous. Guess I could put the sunglasses on so I can see what I'm doing. I'll lose him in the sun. Oh, here she comes. Oh, gorgeous. The water is still enough for almost perfect reflection of the clouds. And further out in the deeper water, we can see lotus, water lilies of the white kind, which in my mind are sleeping stars down from the universe, resting on this quiet water. This preserve is called Grassy Waters. As we can now see, it is part of the West Palm Beach water reclamation. And as I've said before, Palm Beach does an excellent job at preserving wild areas and to doing its best to reclaim wetlands with reclaimed water. So this little bit of water, very still, is the grass and the Butter dragonflies, of course, and fish. And I don't know, you can see that spot there where that one little fish seems to have cleared that area for her eggs. It's amazing what we can see when we take time to notice. And let us do that right now. Of course, we've got some of the sable palm. As you can see way, way up there, the branches. And these are what the uh, indigenous peoples would use as shin guards when they would go through the woods as well as in uh, battle. So this is, uh, we can see very easily how these would be useful strapping onto shins to keep legs from harm. We wouldn't be surprised to see bald cypress in an area with deep water. 
Look at that trunk, nice and wet. And just ferns at the bottom. With so many branches reaching. And it's a bald cypress because we have the leaves coming down. Perhaps we'll see some pond cypress here as well. information here about our it's called hog island the hog trail sits on the hog island chain which is a geologic formation known as a place to seen sand ridge that epoch was 1.8 million to 10,000 years ago and also known as an ice age cold glacial periods and warm interglacial as you can see that would be the map that many years ago so this ridge is high enough up that these little islands would have been inhabited by animals as well as humans. It's a coastal sand dune 120,000 years ago. Whew. Sand on the shoreline. Higher in elevation than the surrounding water area. This is cool. I love ancient geologic times. And as you can see, we are surrounded by water. Oh, this is flowing water. I love flowing water, don't you? We have some, a little bit of diamond action. Let's enjoy this. Wow, that blue jay is yelling. Reflecting the greenery and the echoes of cicada and the birds. I could sit here for a while, how about you? Let's do that. a lovely little breeze right now. So where I'm standing is, I guess, a little culvert taking the water from this side and passing it to where we just stood. And you can see the cypresses all along the water bank. Oh, dragonflies, of course. I mean, this will be where I come back from the hike. All right. Here we go. The birds are urging us on. See you shortly. We do have palm trees, pine trees, and the pine tree here drew me in. Just looking at the bark. Sense and savor. It's smooth-ish. It's damp, as you can see, some of the, the wetness. We had some really good rain yesterday and the day before. And this is bark that will release, as you can see here, almost like paper. And then we have layers and layers there. Got 
some. You can see it pulling away there. Stories the bark and this tree would tell, huh? And of course, if we would just listen. Oh, I see the top of that tree. It's a pine tree and we have a nest up there. I wonder whose nest. Now I can sit here and speculate that it's a hawk's nest. It's big. I haven't heard the hawks since we got on the trail, but being greeted by that hawk was spectacular. Of course we have cicada, and I did hear a frog earlier, but I was too slow on the frog ID app. So it's hog hammock trail. They said some of the creatures we may see could be a bobcat, but I'm thinking if I were here earlier or later, the bobcat would be much more likely to be seen. A feral hog and lots of birds. So we'll just enjoy this walk. Thanks for being here. We are definitely on a ridge, which explains why the pine trees and the palm trees are right here on the path and further off into the undergrowth. You can see more water standing, which is typical for undeveloped Florida in this part of the state anyway. Notice how the sky pops blue with this green. Let's enjoy that. And I just noticed on this palm tree, this beautiful grassy growth and other ferns. So the interbeingness of this community on this one tree. I'm gonna see if I can find out what that grassy is. Hold on. Not only does blue pop with green, so does this red. It's probably a Brazilian pepper, which is an invasive species, but you can see from the, the berries this would be a nice food source for creatures. Okay, we're on a boardwalk over some of the wetter areas, and of course we have cypress here, and we have the knees of the cypress, which is the Telltale feature of Cypress. It's almost as if the root system pops up and says, Okay, we're here. Those are called Cypress knees. Knobby, like mine. I had to stop for. As you can see, this palm tree had fallen. Of course, they're not even trees, so we can have that conversation later. But notice where it had been. It's almost a perfect circle from this cycad. S-C-Y-C-A-C-D. It come down and you can see, oh my gosh, that's like wood where the roots had come out from bottom of the tree and you can see what they look like. That's amazing. Of course, I couldn't tell you how long ago it fell, but you can see from the deterioration in the base. And it had to have been a little while ago. Creatures taking advantage of the deterioration as food source or 
place to hide. Well, this is amazing. I've never seen this before. And I'm glad to share it with you. I'll continue on with the path. And the cicada. Oh my god. I just saw a bobcat. I'm almost speechless. I just saw it before I could put on the camera. Let me see if I can creep up on him. Oh my god. I've only ever seen one before. He didn't go into the brush yet, I don't think. Oh my god. And of course we've got some great water flowing here. See if I can step over here. See if I can find him again. Oh my god. It's, I've only ever seen one once before. And never out really in the wild like this. Let's see where he's gone to. They're quite elusive. This is a place we've already been told that we would see one. Oh gosh, I really wish I could have caught him on the camera for you. But hopefully my excitement is coming through. I'll keep the camera on in case I spy it again. Mosquitoes have found me even though I put on 